going under the dome with Big Jim Rennie, as we know and love him, of course, Dean Norris, one of the sweetest, most lovable people, but you would never know based on season one. Well, you <laughs> gotta play him as a rip, baby. That's right, but however, this is a season of transformation. Yeah. So is Big Jim turning a new leaf? Well, we're gonna see if that works out for him. He decides uh, after getting visited by a few ghosts that he might need to be a nicer guy. So uh, he, he, he does make some efforts to reevaluate his life. And reassess the and reassess situation. reassess the situation. <laughs> and we'll see how that works out. So what does Big Jim think about the dome? What does he think it is? You know, I'm not sure he knows. Uh, he's trying to figure it out like everybody else. Uh, the question is whether the dome is something that's good or whether it's bad or whether it's something that's on his side or not. Right. I think that's what he's trying to figure out and I don't think he knows yet. He thinks that the dome is trying to tell him stuff though. Right. Oh, absolutely. So like, like almost like the dome is godlike. God, yeah, it's, it, it's some sort of figure, you some have a sort of come to dome come moment. Come to dome moment uh, where the dome is, uh, is telling him what to do. So. All right, Conan, yeah. you were fabulous. Thank oh, you for thank the you. Wilmington shout out. Oh, sure. Loved the story. Is it Was it really a true story? Your wife ran into a sandbar? Is oh, that that's, like- That's very true. Very yeah. true. <laughs> How can you not out there? If anybody knows those waters. At you know? night. <clears throat> At night. Exactly, so yeah. that was great. So we wanted to thank you for the Wilmington sure, shout out. of course. Now, I gotta ask you uh, two, two quick questions because yeah. I know that other people want to interview you. What's up with the FU game? I am dying on Twitter every time I see you guys rolling. How did that start? I mean, where did this come from? I'm not sure how it started. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm fairly free with the F word on Twitter and people always want me to tell them to the F word. Right. So I started doing it, and then once I started doing it, it got really got rolling. So if I throw an FU out there, man, I get literally 100 tweets a minute. It's a blessing. It's like it's the like, Dean Norris blessing. From like around the world. Yes. From Brazil, Russia, <laughs> China, China. So I, I kind of limit it now, you know. That's right. So I, I, but every once, I might have to do one of those soon. You do. I haven't done one in a while. So. I, I, I'm feeling that you do because I haven't seen it in a while. FU ran, and people yeah. like their lives are complete lives when you say FU. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of how it is, right? Well, I mean it as a term of affection. Of course, yeah. I know. We all yeah, get it. Right. All right, so I've been asking everyone, so let's ask you, if you could use one word to describe season two, what would be that word? Fantastic. Film instead of comment, you were too busy with the President of the United States when we had a rally, so it was the only excuse that I allowed. You were a little busy, um, but I know you wanted to be there. Yeah. Um, and I know you, I think from what I understand, you pretty much have just moved into Wilmington. You absolutely love it. Yeah. Um, any comments about the film incentives and our struggles right now? Well, uh, you know, there's a lot of, uh, of, of, of crew members and their families who, who depend on this business. And I think it's maybe sometimes it's misunderstood. It's, it doesn't benefit me or, or really Hollywood. It benefits uh, local crew and their families. And to the extent that uh, that can continue, uh, I love the people I work with and I hope that they can continue to work in the town that they love.